Part two. Let's finish decorating this tree. Come on, follow me. Hey YouTube, hey everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel and I happen to stumble by, well, I'm your girl, Bella, and I would totally love if you join me on my YouTube adventures. Hi guys, happy Monday. Part two, decorate with me. Part two, decorate with me. I got some stuff. As you can see, the ribbon is finally done on the tree. I'm loving my bow. Love, love my bow. So that's my tree topper this year. Just a simple bow, a few little picks, and that's it. Okay, but before we get into all that, before we get into all the decorating, the, the minimal decorating, because that's what we're gonna call it today, uh, grab a cup of coffee and uh, let's talk. So first and foremost, did everybody have a good Thanksgiving? That's what I wanna know. Did you have a good Thanksgiving? Leave me a comment down below. Uh, I had a great, great Thanksgiving. It was, it was really nice. It was really, really nice. It was a very different for me. I did not have to cook. I did not have to host. I did not have to do the things. So it was very strange. I did make a dessert and I made, um, a cheese thing. Oh, and I made cookies. Yeah. So if you follow me on Instagram, which I'm going to leave my Instagram right here, for all the new people that maybe they don't follow me on Instagram, come follow me on Instagram. Sometimes I post uh, stuff on there. I'm going to do, I'm going to try and do better and post more on Instagram, I promise. Um, so, look, you know, find me on Instagram. And, uh, okay, so I know a lot of people are really suffer through the holiday season. They're alone and, you know, they, you know, they're alone, their families are far away, or they don't have family, or the family's passed away. I want you guys to know, the ones out there that, you know, felt lonely or felt sad during the holiday season, please know that you are loved. You are very loved. You are very, very loved. And you have a purpose in life. We all do. I know some of our purposes are different than others, but I just want you to know that you are very special to me, and I want you to know that you're very loved. So in saying all that, it is Monday. It is my favorite day of the week. Uh, this morning, I got up, I got my coffee, I sat on the phone with my bestie. We FaceTime for hours and hours on end, making plans, talking about stuff. You know, that's just what I do. Okay, that's just so you know. Okay. So it is Monday, and if you're new to my channel and you don't know about this, on Mondays I am coming going forward. I'm gonna I'm gonna change Monday up a bit because I want to make a video every Monday, but I want to call it Make It Monday. So either we're gonna do a craft, we're gonna do something, or we're gonna make something on Monday, and we're gonna declare, declare, declare to bring all that goodness into our lives. We're gonna declare the favor of God. We're gonna declare what we want. We're gonna declare in his name, the thing that you want most, the thing that's heaviest on your heart, uh, either, you know, an illness, a, a, a home, a job, a project, something that you want to come into your life and take all that negativity and bundle it up and throw it out the window. And I mean, really throw it out the window and let it go, let it go, let go of the negativity. Don't listen to negative thoughts. When you catch yourself thinking negative thoughts, twist it, twist it into the most positive, positive thing that you can think of, okay? Even the most, uh, you know, the, the most negative thing, try and twist it into positive, like I'm doing. Okay, let me tell you about positivity. So you all know, you all know that this year, this is it. This is it. This is it. I cannot, y'all, I cannot buy Christmas stuff because A, I don't have anywhere to put it. B, I don't know where I'm going. I mean, I kind of know, but I, I'm not, not 100% sure, right? Because that's how life is. You're not 100% sure. So I don't want to buy too much. I don't know what I'm doing with all my stuff in storage yet. I'll, I'll tell you all about that in a bit. I'll tell you all about that. But I went 
to Dollar General and I bought a box and it had these gold ornaments in it and these red ornaments. I'm gonna bring you in closer so you could see a little bit better. And um, and then I bought two of these green ones. They were 99 cents each, y'all. And the box, it had little round ornaments, which, okay, you know what? I'm gonna roll the clip. I'm gonna roll the clip now of me making my wreath because I just think it turned out so, so good. I think the wreath turned out good. And we're gonna put it on the front door, but for right now, I'll show you, I'll show you in a bit. Uh, I'm gonna roll the clips now, and then I'm gonna bring you in closer, and we're gonna finish this tree to some nice Christmas music. Hi guys, okay, here we go. We're gonna make this wreath together. I'm just showing you here some of the ornaments. I told you already that I bought um, these red and gold ones at Dollar General. Now, I got the wreath at Hobby Lobby on 50% off. Right, you can see it there. And I already made the bow. And now I should have made the bow with you guys, uh, but I made it at night. I can't remember. I, I thought I recorded it. I guess I didn't. All right, so what I wanna do is take the snowflakes, a red and gold one, and put them together and then take a red and gold ornament and put those together. That's what I'm, that's my thinking. So why am I doing this? Why am I doing this with you guys on film or on camera? Because I just wanna show you that you can take the most inexpensive thing and make it cute. You can do anything. Just need a little tiny imagination. And I'm just showing you what I'm using. I'm using that floral wire that I got from Dollar Tree. And y'all, this is the most inexpensive wreath you will probably see on YouTube. But I think it turned out really cute. I think it really does turn out cute. And I'm really happy with it in the end. And there's a lot of fluffing involved, obviously. Okay. So we're using these red and gold, and what I'm doing is I'm putting the red snowflake and the gold snowflake one beside each other, and then I'm switching the gold ball with the gold um, and the red ball, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm just stringing my ornaments and putting them together so you can see what I'm doing. So I know I'm, I asked you guys already, but I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Mine was very, very different. Just let's put it that way. It was very different, but nice. It was nice. It was nice. Of course, I cut off my tag. I... um. I'm really trying to be in the moment and embrace this new this new way of decorating and where I'm living right now. It's uh it's really hard, y'all. It's really hard. I, I have to I have to admit this is not easy for me being away from my child, not having my stuff, not having my own home at the moment and trying to do everything on a severe budget is uh, quite difficult but you know I hope you can take some inspiration from this and do something you love and you know take your time and be in the moment and be present I um, really enjoyed uh, spending time with new people over the Thanksgiving holiday um, our, I told you our landlord had invited us over and they had their whole family there. That was really nice, really, really nice. But different, nice, but different. But yeah, anyways, the wreath is almost done. I'm going to give you one last look. And uh, let's continue decorating, y'all. Didn't the 
the wreath turn out cute? I thought the wreath turned out cute. Okay, so you saw the little ornaments and it came with the snowflakes and then these big ones and these ones. So it's all red and gold. And it came with these also. So I wanna put these on the tree. And then all I have, sorry, I'm reaching down to get it, are these four from Hobby Lobby. Angela says that we, she thinks we have these. She thinks we might have another box of these or two more boxes of these. Um, she might be right. <laughs> she might be right. She might be right. You know, I didn't even get, um, I didn't even get, um, what are they called? Ornament hangers. Let me show you what I did. I have my mess of this little Dollar Tree wire that I bought at Dollar Tree um, the other day. Y'all, I live in a really, really, really small town now. Like, my town's really, really small. Sorry, I'm rummaging. And um, we don't have much. We don't We don't have much here. We don't, there's not much here. So I have a Dollar Tree, a Dollar General, a Beals. And that's pretty much it. So, and I mean, I don't want to drive. I don't want to drive far away to go pick up stuff. And again, I don't want to start um, getting a whole storage unit full of stuff, like probably will. So anyways, I don't want to buy a lot of things, but I did I did get something. I did get something on uh, uh, Black Friday. I got a coffee table and that's coming on the first because I finally found one that is inexpensive Fantastic, great, I'm gonna link it on Amazon so you guys can see it. You'll never believe the price. Uh, you'll never believe the price when you see it. I think it was great. Okay, let's finish decorating this tree and put together my living room and I wanna show you what I've done on the little coffee table over there. And uh... Okay, this is really gonna be quick. i am just got a few more ornaments to hang and y'all really, I mean, I, I, <laughs> I keep saying the same thing over and over again, but this is intentional decorating. So the back of the tree is not decorated, deep in the tree is not decorated. I'm just using what I have and what I bought because no way, no way can I go overboard. I'm just not doing it. I'm not doing it this year. It's the year of minimalism. I mean, this is my version of minimalism. But um, I really want to thank you all. I really, really want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all the love and support and kindness you have shown me throughout this holiday season, especially the holiday season. I, I can't thank you enough for following along and just being part of my life. And your love and kindness is not going unnoticed. Trust me. And I really need you guys. Oh, yeah, these Timu flowers. I do not like these, <laughs> but that's okay. We're using them. We're using them. Okay, y'all, happy decorating. I hope you've decorated your trees already. Okay, y'all, the sun is beating in really strong, so... I, those are the thrifted pillows. I think they look cute with the furry pillows look cute i draped the little throw over here don't mind the shoes over there so on this side you could see the the mirror that i thrifted isn't it nice i think it looks so good i know the lighting in here is terrible uh really terrible actually and here's my entrance table that's what i'm gonna call it sofa table entrance table because it's right by the door but look it'll look Everything will come, it's going to come together. It's going to come together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the couch towards me a little bit more. And then the coffee table is going to go there. Um, after Christmas, I'm going to get one more of those. But you're going to see what I'm going to build here for my TV. And I think the tree turned out really cute. Here, let me give you, oh, the tripod's there. So there's the our tree. So there's the bow. There's the big bow. You could see it there. I think it looks really good. I think the bow turned out really good. The minimal, even the Timu flowers, fine. 
I really love that plaid uh, ornament. And you know, I just strategically placed it. This is totally on a budget, y'all, on a budget. This is on a budget. There's my Santa Claus that I just could not resist. I'm sorry, I could not resist him. And the tree skirt, or whatever you want to call it, tree collar, uh, it's from Dollar Tree, y'all. It's from Dollar Tree. I don't, I don't particularly like it, but it's fine. And it'll just have to do. Um, I'm hoping this week we can get these banisters out of here because I think they're just horrific. But um, there's my little tree. Okay, my beautiful peeps. I hope you like this video. Minimal, minimal, minimal decor. Okay, ribbons, a few ornaments. These four of them were $11.99 with 50% off at Hobby Lobby. So it's not a lot of money. The rest of the ornaments, including making the wreath, was $10. $10.99, 10 right? $10.99. It was $10.99 at Dollar General. The pillows I thrifted, the other ones I bought. Uh, my house is coming along really slow because, again, I've mentioned this. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> because I've mentioned this again. I am not good at this moment at making decisions because. I really don't know, honestly, how long. Will it be six months? Will it be a year? Will it be a year and a half? If it turns into more than a year, uh, honestly, I like it here. I think it's a really, really great town. Now, is this where I wanna live forever? I don't know. I was talking to my bestie um she said you know you're better off just buying something in the meantime and you could always sell it it's better than paying rent i agree with her um do i want to do that i don't know do i want to just i, I don't know <laughs> i don't know i don't know i don't know i'm leaving it in god's hands i'm declaring i'm declaring for me personally i'm declaring my forever home I'm declaring where God wants to put me forever, to put me there quickly, um, to, to guide me. And I hope that if you're feeling like me and you're feeling a little out of sorts this holiday season, just know you're not alone. There's plenty of us out there like that. The economy and what's going on and all the things that's going on in the world, I think we're all feeling a little, a little displaced, a little disoriented. Speaking of that, oh, y'all, I need to mention this. Uh, it's on my heart to mention this. Um, I don't know how many of you watch Miss Arlen's channel. Arlen from Crafty Corner. Please say a prayer for her and her family. She lost her daughter. <sighs> y'all, not good. Not good at all. 30, I think the, the girl was... 39 years old, hadn't even gone to 40 yet. <laughs> Very devastating. And I can only just imagine what Miss Arlen's... No, I don't. No. I can't. As a mother, I can't. And I would never want to. But someone who has lost someone very dear to them, many people dear to them, I know the feeling of grief and loss. But as a mother, to lose a child... I know that's probably the worst thing. I saw my grandmother go through it and I saw my mother-in-law go through it. And um, it's it, it it's inexplicable, inexplicable. So uh, please say a prayer for her. I know this video is like totally somber today. What is going on? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but this is life. This is real life. And you know, life doesn't stop just because we want to decorate, make things pretty life happens and life happens to the best of us and you know um it is what it is but we we have to find strength uh now if you find strength through the lord like i do that's wonderful if you find strength through your community your friends your family wherever you find strength um you know find the strength continue on persevere 
you know, I'm, I'm a praying girl, so I'm going to tell you to pray. Pray your way through it. Pray your way through it. Let God guide you. Let God direct your path, and it'll help. Anyways, thank you, y'all. Thank you so much for following along on my uh, <laughs> Christmas decorating. I just love y'all so much. I read all your comments. I know I haven't responded to a lot of comments. I'm going to try and do that tonight when I sit on the couch and have a nice cup of hot chocolate and watch another Christmas movie because I'm basking in my Christmas movies, like basking in them. Anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful week ahead. Declare, declare, declare. Declare what you want to come into your life. Throw that negativity out the window and have an amazing, amazing week. And remember, something amazing is always around the corner. So don't give up. Bye, guys. See you soon.